Hey guys, I'm Andre, a certified translator and a real estate concierge here in Belarus. Uh, we are on a late October scouting tour for more houses. Nice cool houses, one hour away from Minsk, and today we're looking at four options. In fact, about a couple of dozen options by now, but you'll see four options for, uh, for good content. And we are, uh, as usual, we're shopping for places between uh, five and ten thousand dollars, places that are good for living, that are reachable uh, from Minsk, uh, ideally by public transport. And the first place is over here in the village of uh, Regalevshina, which is uh, one hour, 20 minutes ride from Minsk. I agree, a bit more than an hour, but the price is more than attractive. So let's see what the place has to offer. A very cool village here in Volozhin district with a really feeling, real feeling of a uh, lost one. Uh, there's uh, some signal here, uh, electricity naturally, gas and everything, it's all deliverable. And judging by the delivery truck that just got stuck here, they also deliver here through that online service I told you about. 0.25 land lot, a very nicely taken care of land, trimmed grass and everything has the feeling, has a positive feeling. Well, let's hope this body hasn't been sold yet. The place is really, really tranquil. And as they say, gets you all sorts of the top degree of privacy. Let's see what they want and what's inside when we meet the owners over here next time. Well, guys, let's see what do we have here. The village of Kibe, 120 minutes away from Minsk, 100 kilometers from Vasilki. Vasilki restaurant has become a landmark for everything. And the place here has uh, a pretty bad cell data, uh, mobile data. That's why uh, cell signal, that's why there may have to be a booster uh, on your roof. The house is uh, okay for its money, requires a brush up, of course, maybe a few uh things to be fixed but nothing like a major renovation replacing a floor or something and uh, it's sitting in a pretty green area behind me there's some kind of a uh, forest bit not sure about its natural status the berezina river is out, out there and uh, the place is very quiet it's not a transit village with some daily traffic uh, out, outside your windows uh, street looks very novel so it's a uh, it's a very sweet summer house retreat from what it looks like. As always, we've been using Geotag for Android. You can download it uh, at the link under the video to memorize the location of the house, to make some notes and uh, to keep it in mind for our search. Let's go see some expensive buddies next door. The roads here aren't super exciting, but by the way, this one only has one kilometer off the last leg of the trip on a bit bumpy side. Otherwise the road Leading here is the highway and a pretty good asphalt road, so this is a definitely a yes. Let's see what the next houses look like. Stay with the channel.
We're in the village of Varoni, which is like a short distance away from the first place, but it's quite a bumpy ride. And in general, I would say Valojan provincial roads are a little bit on the bumpy side compared to Stolpce. Although this district, again, if I mentioned that first, uh, is a uh, top runaway destination for the IT guys uh, who want to get back to nature from Minsk, who can work remotely and who want to get some natural ways again. Uh, this option here is renovated, it's $10,000 and we are shown in by the mother-in-law of the owner who wants to merge with the family, so one extra house is a burden. Let's see what it has to offer. Well, it's a bit arguable here. The place was kind of renovated. You see urban windows behind me. It's kind of cool. We'll see what the signal is. Uh, it's unlikely to be super good, but we'll just note it. But since they, st since they just started it, since they renovated it and put some effort, it's 10,000. It's unlikely to go down any soon. Uh, the road is really bumpy, so it's five kilometers of pretty slow ride. At some point there may be a field issue here with snow or rain or something like this so i would say we have to seriously think about it and maybe push them to eight uh, in a couple more views maybe by springtime uh, it's unlikely to go lower than nine right now not, not even nine five or something like this we'll talk to the owner we'll see how it goes let's see the next option well one but last option for today is just like the guy said it's on the edge of the village uh, selling for 9,000, haggling aloud. Let's see what kind of house that is and what sort of benefits, bonuses it carries on top of being on the very edge of the village and by the forest. Well, by far the area is not super impressive. The house looks big, definitely made a pretty huge household in the past. And the forest is just outside, over here. You can see pretty huge trees behind me that saw better days, that saw this household see better days, I guess. Let's see what's around. Roof looks nice. Stoves seem okay. We don't have a view today, so we just can assume what's inside. Judging by the interior pictures, the place is just fine. The road, the road sucks. I'll put the mileage on the screen before the, the good highway, but the bumpy village drive through several villages is not helping to, to sell it fast. The good part it is in good shape. The roof has been rebuilt. The interior is up capped, so it's like a check-in, a ready for check-in place. Seems like it's, it's private, it's green, it's by the edge of the, edge of the forest. So I would potentially put it for a lucky winner depending on the concept that my clients will uh, settle on later. Uh, maybe we have to talk to the owner and arrange another view of this house and the next one and the last for the day we're going to. But maybe this is the lucky winner. Uh, 9,000, asking 9,000 could be probably 7,5 or around that. We'll see, we'll see how it goes and we'll check the, how good is the mobile data. Stay with the channel, let's see the last guy. Well, the place here in Garotki, a major village reachable by train, hence the railway noise in the background, it has 0.25 hectares of land, pretty, pretty classical house but with plastic siding, so it, it's kind of going to have a few more good years, <clears throat> pretty good for summer house I guess. It's not super green, we'll have to see, look at the map about uh, how good the forests are close by, maybe a lake or something. You can see a school from the landlord. There are definitely neighbors, which may be a 
plus rather than a minus here. So it's not a super private green escape we're looking at here. It's just a place selling for 7.5, which I believe can be seven uh, with a certain effort. And that would be about it. It seems like they have a little hose out of the well. So cold water inside the house, inside the house. Let's check, check the connectivity and let's see how much the um, sellers are willing to cooperate. The neighbors have been cooperative like always. The uh, uh, lady out here tells us that it's a very nicely built house. The couple that divorced and hence the sale, hence the deal. The couple that divorced uh, invested some effort into the design. It looks pretty nice from, from outside through the window. So I would say 7.5 and uh, maybe an effort to push it a little lower gives us a chance for a pretty good uh, option for mm, let's say backup option to live in uh, definitely a summer house reachable by train on top of other modes asphalt goes right to the uh, uh, right to the land lot the uh, land lot is 0.25 hectares not overgrown not uh, sticking with bush or something like that it's just good land on the very edge of a, a large village. So my folks aren't completely into a green escape 100%. So let's see how it goes. There's a potential winner in the back here. According to uh, after several options, we browsed uh, in several days, uh, more than 1500 kilometers by now. The potential winner is behind my back. The house is pretty nice, orderly, reachable by train, though with a uh, layover uh, one hour away from Minsk. So not so good if you want to travel frequently. But for the money they're charging and for the, let's say, infrastructure, uh, internet is kind of okay, YouTube loaded. Uh, it works, it works and it serves its purpose. So let's see if the paperwork is straight and see where we proceed from here. As always, thank you very much for watching the channel. Thank you for likes, dislikes. Thank you for donations. Contacts and links for donations are underneath the video. Always happy to see you in Minsk for a consulting or for a cup of coffee. Thank you and cheers. Shop wisely, travel responsibly or the other way around. This was Andre. Cheers.